that's up there. That's one of the hardest things I've done for fun. This video is indeed one of the hardest things I've ever done for fun. And this clip at the beginning of this video is what is known as a hook. A clip to entice you into watching all the way until the end. This is actually the end of the video. So we need to begin at the start or the start-ish. This video starts three weeks ago in a big ramp up in my ultra 100K training. Uh, I'm out today on one of my training runs, a simple training run. I've got a new microphone and a new setup for my GoPro uh, video, video record. So this is the setup. Before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, I will say that I have a new microphone and GoPro setup to film my runs for my channel. And I acknowledge that some of these clips and sound quality are less than ideal. Bear with me as I'm working this out ahead of the big event in September and I do fix it later on in the video. I'm very quickly just going to say the Thames Path Ultra 100k training is very much under, underway. In just over four months I'm going to be running the Thames Path Ultra. I'm happy to report that my training is on track. Okay, take two. So this is uh, the day after. I'm just going to walk this bit for the sake. I've got a fly in my eye. I've got about six weeks until the Thames Path Challenge. And I have a couple of things that I've got planned that I'm building up to. I'm running pretty much every day. Um, and then I'm taking two days a week where I'm going on Zwift as well, which, you know, Zwift is great. I've decided instead of running, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on Zwift. I am gonna climb out to Zwift. Uh, but I keep racing, so I keep doing short half hour races where really I should be doing one, two hour um, long rides, slow long rides. Push! Yes! I've gone out to Swift in a hundred and seven minutes. That's what I should be doing, but I kind of like the racing. So anyway, I keep making videos about it, so it can't be all bad. In less than three weeks from the point of making and editing this video, I will be running that 100K event. My point here is that my training plan consists of daily long runs in excess of 10 miles per day, and then two days a week where I run 13 to 15 miles at least. I need to satisfy my Zwift appetite, so I take a day or two to race on Zwift. And even though Zwift is great for my overall fitness, cardio, and leg strengthening, if I'm gonna use my Watt bike and Zwift to complement my training for September's Ultra, then I need to increase the distances I'm riding on Zwift with long, slow rides instead of the endorphin-inducing short races that I love so much. Uh, I'm lost. Aha, uh -huh, here, found it. We're okay. This is the footpath. Uh, this isn't the way. Ah, uh, it's there. Ah! Uh. Such a nice evening, really nice summer's evening. Okay, that's it, 10 miles done. Okay, it's very blustery today. This is gonna be a good test for the new microphone. I'm out on a long run today. First day of sunshine for about a week. I am blessed. And lucky enough to live near a canal. Tracy's not with me now, but Tracy joined me in the car because it's a lovely day today, really sunny. She sat there enjoying a cup of tea and doing some crocheting as you do. 
and I am trying to go for a long run. That's the plan today. I'll run this direction until I don't want to run this direction anymore. I'll turn around and I'll run back to Tracy. Exactly four weeks tomorrow until I run the Thames Path Challenge. That's just got real. Psychologically, I'm feeling a bit blur today about it. I can't remember the last time I ran further than 20 miles. Well, I can. It was the London Ultra. Legs are sore, no blisters. On a scale of one to 10, how do I feel in regards to the event? Eight or nine? Uh, how do I feel in regards to legs? Probably a three or four. Which was now about six weeks ago. So that's where my head's at. That's where my head's at. I had a huge bike ride yesterday. I cycled up the Alp to Zwift. It's a, a fake mountain in a computer game world on Zwift, which took me over two hours to cycle. It took a lot out of me, that did. I didn't realize it at the time, but I crashed afterwards big time. This is an understatement, and I had a really tough night's sleep due to the body stress that I put myself under and I woke up feeling absolutely shattered the next day. I mean completely wrecked. This sounds terrible, but it's exactly the kind of training I should be doing in prep for the absolute hell I will be enduring on the second half of the 100K Ultra I've signed up to in September. One mile done, easy. Two miles done, easy. Three miles, happy days. Four miles done, along the canal. Five, easy peasy. I'm about to reach the furthest I've run along here before, um, where well, I've turned around. Tracy's with the car. I might get, if I carry on and do the same again and go in this way, I might get Tracy to come and meet me rather than have to run back through that. Anyway, we'll see how we get on. Look at this. That's six miles, six miles done. I've got a salt tablet. That should sort me out. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that, I've got headphones on. She hasn't answered. Ah, here we go. Hello? I'm about seven miles up the canal if i keep going will you pick me up from somewhere if i find somewhere for you to pick me up i am very lucky to have a partner like tracy there is no way i could do what i do without her support and backing and this is just a small example of the things she does to support me this and listen to me waffle on about training tactics all the time i can't overstate enough how much i appreciate her at least another five miles until i ring you all right all right bye so yeah she's all right with that Seven miles. Done. Eight miles. Easy. Nine miles. Still fun. It's still easy. <laughs> if I keep saying that, it will be. We're just coming up to 10 miles. Okay, that's a 10 mile mark. That is 11 miles. That's 
12 miles. Uh, I've got just under two miles until I meet Tracy. That's 21K, 13 miles. I'm running through the back streets of Chelmsford, looking for Tracy. That's it, I'm sat down. Tracy's gone to the shops, so yeah, I'm just uh, sat here now waiting for her to come back to the car. I'm done, um, what was that, just over 14 miles. That'll do for today. So I've got the running jacket on today. New day, new run, and I was cold when I left. I'm not cold anymore, I'm about a mile in, and I'm very bloody warm. This is coming off. Sit rep. Today is, what day is it? Tuesday. 14 mile run yesterday, and I'm out for a, another run today. I forgot to plug my microphone into my GoPro yesterday. I am determined to have a good Thames Path uh, video, make a good video of it. So today's situation, situational report. How do I feel? I feel all right. My feet are fine, legs are fine, uh, just tired. I've just realised that it's starting to rain. And the forecast I've just checked, which I hadn't, didn't check before I left, it is forecast to rain. So if it does rain, I'll stick the camera in the bag. It's going to keep going. I just want to say, for the benefit of the video, that little gap I never used to fit through, I used to have to go through the gate. Now I can get through it without touching it. Small things about weight loss like that, that put a smile on your face. Today's run, we are out on the old footpaths around where I used to live. This is the road to hell for anyone that used to watch my old videos. Running 26.2 miles is the next impossible challenge for me. The furthest I've run non-stop so far is 10 miles. When I was training for the marathon, the London Marathon, back in the day, these were my stomping grounds. So today's run is approximately 20 miles. I haven't mapped it exactly, but from memory, I've got a tactic, so this week I'm on about 36, 37 miles already and I'm going to do 20 miles, so this should get me close to 55, 60 miles. I've got just under a month until the Thames Path, unless the wheels completely fall off. It's going to be a sub 20 hours. I'd like to get it close to 15. I feel I need to interject here. A 15 hour 100k marathon is a fantastic time. This is the kind of time I will always strive for. However, if I'm completely realistic, the kind of realism that hindsight provides, anything sub 20 hours and I will be completely over the moon with it. Do I think I can get it close to 15? If I get it close to 15, if I get it under 16 hours, that will be a massive achievement, a huge achievement. All I'm doing by sharing these kind of aspirations on camera is putting myself under immense pressure. To run a 55K a few weeks back in eight hours and 45 minutes and then expect to do a 100K in sub 16 hours is unrealistically ambitious. The kind of unhealthy pressure that will lead me to make silly mistakes on race day. I did 55K in eight hours, 45 minutes. So, to do 100k sub 16 would be a miracle. Just to put this into perspective, my long distance running fast pace when running is a six to six minute 20 
per kilometer pace. My comfortable pace is anything in the sevens. To run a nine minute kilometer pace sounds easy, but when you have to factor in pit stops, toilet breaks, and stopping halfway for 30 minutes to eat, then that nine minute kilometer pace is very ambitious because it includes all of this. Not to mention that anything after 50K will be an ordeal. Any form of running, regardless of speed, will be a real endurance event. So for me to say on camera that I'd love to run a sub 15 hour race is unrealistic, but we all have to have dreams, I suppose. So to do it sub 16, I need to run the whole course in a 14 minute a mile pace or a nine minute kilometer pace. That's the challenge today. Try and run this not fast. And if I need to, break into a walk. If I go off too fast, it's gonna destroy me early and then I'll be walking the rest of it. So that's today's challenge. I've now reached the River Thames. The rest of this run, I'm at 12 miles. I'm not sure whether this run is gonna be 20. I think I might just be under maybe 18, but it's nice to be on the Thames. I've got a bit of an annoying niggle that I'm gonna moan about now. I lost my big toenail on my left foot. The toenail came off after the London Ultra. So yeah, it just took a pounding, but it's left me with this toenailless toe that it's a bit annoying. It doesn't hurt. That's the only injury I'm currently carrying. Touch wood. I stopped couple of miles back there. Uh, there's a nice little cafe on the green, on the Thames. So I thought, I'm nearly at the end. I'll stop there for a coffee. So that's it, that's this run done. Just under 18 miles. Good run today, enjoyed that. Okay, good. I'm in the garage at the moment. Um, I've just set myself up on the Watt bike with everything I need for a epic um, battle today. So I've got a new challenge. This week and next week, I am gonna try and do as many miles as I can, and then obviously reduce it down the week before the run, just so as I go into it fresh with fresh legs. So for the past week and a half, I've upped my game and I've done loads of running. I've done about 80 miles in seven days. However, I've missed Zwifting. I've been trying to find a way to get back in the garage, get on the Watt bike, and one of those ways is to combine the two. So rather than just go out and do another long run today, which, you know, I was kind of, not dreading, but it's, um, it's getting pretty boring just, just, just running the same route. And I want to combine it with Zwifting. So today, I'm going to do a duathlon. My own duathlon. My backyard duathlon. I googled what a duathlon involves and there's many different distances. There's the sprint distance, mid distance, standard distance and then long distance. I've actually got it on my training plan in the house that I should be doing 20k today which coincides quite nicely with, with, with the standard duathlon distance. So I'm going to do a 10k run now. I'm going to come back. I've got two races that I've set up, which are approximately 30k each. So I'm going to do two races on the bike that gets me to 60k. I might need to add a little bit on afterwards. Just I'll just keep riding. But that doesn't matter. Two races that get me to 60k and then I'll go back out and do another 10k. So that's today's challenge. And I'm quite looking forward to this because it's going to mix things up. I'm going to be absolutely shattered. And my best time for a 10K run was um, several weeks ago now when I ran my first 10K, official 10K race. I've done loads of 10Ks, but my official time was one hour and four minutes is my best time I've ever run it. And then that's it. My first official 10K race. I did it in exactly one hour four minutes and 43 seconds and i have got one hour and 15 minutes to get out do the 10k get back on the bike for that race so 
Let's go and do that. Duathlon, garage duathlon, homemade backyard duathlon. Let's do this. My pace right now is too fast to talk. And I'm also running uphill. I'm just thinking I'm probably pushing this too much. I've still got a 60k bike ride to do. I'm not even 5k in and I'm starting to think this is a mistake. I'm still running uphill. I can't get my breath. Now, the route goes downhill. Thank God. Okay, that's 5k in just under 34 minutes. That's 10k done. I'm at my front door. It was almost exactly 10k door to door. And I did it in one hour, eight minutes. Now to put my shorts on. I'm gonna put my fan on, put Zwift on, put my feet in. I'm gonna eat some Sorin bars. I've got some Sorin bars here, I've got three of these. And I've got some energy gels that I'm gonna eat as well. Uh, let's get my heart rate monitor on. Right, we've got a few minutes until the start. So I'm just gonna get a couple of kilometers under my belt. Sorry, bar. I'm just gonna get to 2K, and then I'm gonna join the pen. Okay, right. Now we're in the pen for stage three, race the worlds. Um, I think this is the, I think it's the Glasgow course. I'm gonna have one of these precision energy gels. Okay, we've got 20 seconds. I've got electrolytes in there and I've got plain water there. Okay, we're off. Now I don't know this course. I don't know if it's hilly. I've done zero research beforehand. I just wanted a course that was about 30K. So I'm gonna do this race, see how I feel. Whether I join another one to do another 30, or whether I just ride on my own. It's 23 kilometers. So when I've done this, I've already done two. I then do another five. I do another five K on a random course. And then I'll decide if I want to jump in to another race. I'm just going to get my head down and try and stick with this, with this front group. Okay, sit rep. So far, hang on, I need you to sit over here. Hang on, bear with me. I need to get to the top of this hill without being dropped. If I get to the top of this hill without being dropped, it's a miracle. I want to catch them. Front pack has been split up. I 
there's a small group at the front. I think we're about four or five riders, two ahead of us, and then us. They're gone. I'm broken. I couldn't keep up with them. Couldn't do it. Oh, my God, thirteen oh. percent heal. My God, I'd a hundred percent been dropped there, hundred percent. I'm being caught though, from behind. I've been caught. Oh, to be expected, these hills are brutal. Brutal. For a duathlon, I just wanted it flat. This is the first time I've ever combined running with cycling. Why have I chosen a course that has 13% hills? Mental. Imagine if this was a real duathlon. It's soul destroying. Anyway, stop moaning. We're nearly, we're nearly there. 13.8K to the finish line. And then I'm gonna just do a flat course. Downhill and fast. 10K left of this race. We're over halfway. Come on, Ryan. It doesn't matter where we finish. The point of today's exercise is to finish a duathlon. 10K run. 60k ride, 10k run, 80k covered. Time was never a factor. Just got to zoom across that finish line in 14th out of 22. Not great, could have been worse, could have been a lot better. So that's 25k on my 60k done. Right, we 35k left to do. I did have another race that I was going to do. It's the same race again. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to stick on this here and do 35k. So we've just crossed the 25 kilometer mark and we've got 10 kilometers left to go. I've latched onto this robo pacer. Didn't even know that was a thing. Good idea. It's been great because I'm able to conserve some energy for the 10k run. 34.9. That's it. 35k. Right, this isn't going to be a fast transition. I need to get off this bike without falling off. I've done that too often. Ah! Let's transition to the GoPro. That transition wasn't the fastest. I think it took me about three minutes to get off the bike, drink something, apply more bum chafing cream, get the vest on, get out the gate, go back in the gate because I forgot the GoPro and then get back out the gate again. I felt all right, actually. 10K run, 60K bike ride, and another 10K run. Daddy, daddy cool. Daddy, daddy cool. Okay, that's 5K. 
that's halfway. Uh, I'm nearly at the top of this hill. Average pace is eight and a half minutes a kilometre. So it's really dropped. And it's downhill from here. Happy days. I don't know if you can see that. I've got my pace starting with a six again. As we're running downhill, I'm listening to Thunderstruck by ACDC. I don't know the words, but it's got to be one of the best running songs ever to help me pick up my pace. We're just coming up to 8K. I've just gone over the hour mark. It's not actually a bad time, to be fair, considering all things considered. What is it? Three hours, four hours, total moving time. But we're coming up to 80 kilometers covered in distance. So if anyone comments to say, oh, you should do one. I don't own a bike. I own a static smart bike. I don't own a road bike. So no, I won't be doing one. It'll make for a good video anyway. We're at exactly nine kilometers and I've just had to stop to walk briefly because I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I don't mind throwing up. I just don't want to black out. I've blacked out before on doing a doing walk the line. I don't really want a repeat of that now. I'm gonna keep pushing. Oh. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us full circle. We are right back at the hook. Thank you for watching. That's up there. That's one of the hardest things I've done for fun. I need a drink. I need a shower. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. See you in my next stupid challenge video.